everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. It's Friday, and that means it is another Coaster Friday. I wanted to try something a little bit different this week, and I am going to use my coaster mold, and I've got some wire here. And this wire I bought, it's blue wire, and I bought it at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to try to make a dragonfly. I'll be using my Easy Cast resin and the coaster mold, and I'll have both of those linked in the description below, and full directions and links to the products on my website at craftclutch.com. I am going to use this wire to create the dragonfly, and I'm going to do it in pieces, and this wire comes in different thicknesses and different colors. I just happen to choose the blue. I like the color of it, and I'm going to try to mimic this wing and I won't get it perfect. I'll try to mimic it somewhat so I'm going to try to get the length. And then I want to do two smaller ones and then I'll need a head. So I'll just need a small piece for that and I'll just take whatever I have laying around and create a circle for the head and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle it could be um, oh, we'll use that, and I'm going to just kind of try to squish it together a little bit, give it a better shape. And then I need two body parts. So I think I'll go maybe one. I go a little bit longer. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just do one body part. Okay. So I have it like this. And I'm going to squish this end together. And then I'll make my wings. <clears throat> now I need to manipulate these ends just a little bit because I want them to meet. I don't want them to keep separating like that. So I'm using some thinner pliers just to make that happen. I'm working on parchment paper and I need some clear drying glue. I'm using the ultimate glue. You can use any glue on this because what we're doing is not we're not really using it to hold the piece together. We're using it to seal these ends. So long as it dries clear, you're fine. Now you can do this once it's dried or you can do it right away um, even when the other pieces are still wet. I'm going to take a little more glue and I'm going to glue these pieces together. Okay, I'm going to put a little extra glue on the head here, the bottom of the head. All right, I'm going to first put the body and we got the wings that we got to get in there. All right, now we're going to let everything absolutely positively dry until it's 100% clear. You can let it dry overnight. Um, whatever you want to do, but now we have the shape of our dragonfly and we're going to then, once it's dry, transfer it over into the coaster mold and then we're going to do our thing there. I prepared some resin, my dragonfly has dried and I have my coaster mold. I put about two capfuls of the hardener and two capfuls of the resin into here. All I need is a thin layer along the bottom of the coaster. So I'm going to just put it right in there. I want it to spread to the bottom, but I don't want it to be too full, and you'll see why in a minute. Do the lighter, get rid of any bubbles. Then I'll take my dragonfly and just put them right in here. And the reason I only put a little bit of resin in is I didn't want it to fill the whole thing up. Because I want to put more resin into each of the little cavities that I created, the head, the, you know, the body, and the wings. And if I filled it up too much, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So this still gives me a very thin layer that I'll be able to work with. But by doing it this way, it seals the bottom. And that way, any resin that I put in for the wings and the other stuff is not going to run underneath. I'll run my lighter over it one more time, and then we'll let this sit, I would say, at least two or three hours just to make sure that everything is nice and sticky. 
This has been sitting about oh four or five hours. So now I'm going to do the coloring, the fun part. I created or I've mixed a little more resin and I'm going to pour that into a few different cups here. I'm going to take a little bit of my India ink in black and I'm going to put that in one of one of the resin and I'll mix that up and that's just going to be a plain black so I'm going to make sure I have it mixed really well and then I'm going to very carefully drip it into the body cavity here and I'll do the same with the head and now I'm going to do the wings for the wings, I'm going to take this pigment powder. I'm going to take the True Blue and the Violet Brass. I'll start with the Violet Brass and throw some in. Mix it around. So I'm going to drip that in. Once that powder is mixed, go ahead and drip it. Or you can pour it, but very carefully pour it. And then you can help it spread out with a toothpick you have on hand move it around within the within the wire there. Now I'm going to take this true blue and add it to my already the one that with the violet in there already and I just want to add a little bit. I'll mix it, see how it looks. Those are filled in and I use the toothpick just to go around the edges because it usually goes a little higher on the edges and I didn't want the clear that was under there to create like a, a clear border around it so I did that and now I have a little bit left and I think I'm gonna go with a yellow. Now I'm gonna just pour this on the outside of the dragonfly and then I'll use a toothpick again and kind of help spread it around. I have the yellow all spread out. Now I'm just going to take my lighter, run it across the whole thing to get rid of any bubbles that might have risen to the surface. And I need this to sit long enough to where when I do my final pour, it's not going to stir any of this up. So we're talking probably a good three to four hours. And then we'll come back and do a final pour. I've made more resin and now I'm just going to pour it. Now this has been sitting here for probably about five hours or so. So I don't have to worry about anything running or moving. It's all stuck where it's going to be. And I had enough resin in here to be able to cover it all so we don't have any lumpy areas. Then we will come back with our lighter every once in a while, double check, make sure the bubbles are gone, and then we will wait 12 hours and come back and unmold it. I'm back to unmold the coaster and here it is. There it is. So that yellow is a little bit see-through. There's the bottom. So it works either way and now you can create things with just some wire and create some very unique coasters. If you like the coaster, the technique, or the video, I would love a thumbs up. And we will see you next time. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Happy crafting. Thanks for watching.